Hello there, and thanks for checking in. Let's take a tour of the reverb reduction process in Spectral Layers Pro 8. The process was introduced in Spectral Layers Pro 3 in 2015. Version 8 now infuses this process with AI-driven power. Here, you'll learn about how the process works and how it can be used on the flexible Steinberg platform. Okay, so here we go. I'll press the spacebar and play the use case. The wet, dry reverb mix is 30%, 70%. Spectra Layers Pro 8 delivers audio empowerment. And here is how it works. Go to the process menu and select reverb reduction. The process dialog appears. Here we can immediately preview the process using the default settings. Simply click preview and the process plays back automatically. Spectra Layers Pro 8 delivers audio empowerment. The sensitivity slider dials in deeper cuts at positive values and goes with a lighter touch at negative values. A sensitivity setting of 1.0 is definitely leaning toward aggressive in this particular case. Let's click preview and listen to what this sounds like. Spectral Layers Pro 8 delivers audio empowerment. Here I have the ability to invert the process. I can preview the content that will be removed in the reduce reverb process by selecting Reduce Signal. Listen to what's being generated at the default midpoint sensitivity setting. I have several important points to make here. First, what you just heard, the reverb only. This can be rendered out by clicking OK at this point if Reduce Signal is selected. The rendered content can be placed on its own layer and balanced, mixed, and further processed using Spectra Layers tools. You can perform VST3 plugin processing on it right in the application in both standalone and ARA mode. It's easy to transfer content to different applications. You can drag layers directly onto the Cubase and Nuendo timelines in ARA mode. This action automatically copies the audio to the media pool where it then comes into play as a Spectra Layers rendered product. Secondly, keep in mind, this process exists in a flexible system of possibilities that includes other processes. With regard to the use case in this video, we encourage you to try the voice denoiser and unmix components processes, and of course, take advantage of all the precision editing tools that Spectra Layers has to offer. Okay then, back to the use case, let's finish up. Switching back to Reduce Reverb, I'm free to click OK and perform the process. Here, I've dialed the sensitivity control back down to the midpoint. Spectra Layers Pro 8 delivers audio empowerment. One more time, back to the original unprocessed sound. Spectra Layers Pro 8 delivers audio empowerment. And there you have it. Download Spectra Layers Pro 8, try it, and experiment with the settings. The processes work fast, so you can try lots of different approaches. Spectra Layers is a fascinating collection of tools and processes. Once you get to know them, you'll be glad you took the time. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Spectra Layers Pro 8 delivers audio empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.